G'day guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be trying to make a medieval shield. Hope you enjoy. Also guys, this will be my first time trying to do a voiceover, so let's hope it goes all right. So for this project, I started off with a 1200 by 2400 by 15 mil sheet of plywood. I then marked out a 750 by 500 mil rectangle for the basic size of the shield. After working out I hadn't accounted for the thickness of the saw blade, I worked out how much I would it would take out and added that onto the side and the bottom of the of the rectangle. And here I'm using a long piece of angle iron as a straight edge for the circular saw. After I'd worked out how far the straight edge had to be away from the, where the saw blade was going to cut, I clamped it down with two F clamps. After tightening the clamps, I just double checked the distance with a tape measure to make sure they hadn't moved. I decided to cut all the way along this edge to make it easier to cut off the access at the bottom. I used the same piece of angle line as a straight edge on this side as well. I use this steel table frame to attempt to stop it from falling off. And as you can see, it worked wonderfully. I marked and cut out each of the boards individually at 100 mils, and I used a three degree cut with the, with the circular saw. The last cut was kind of scary because I couldn't use a clamp so I ended up using a big heavy bit of leaf spring on it. And here we go, all five of the boards. To glue and clamp the curve that I wanted in this shield, I used a technique I learned from Chronic Woodwork who made a very similar shield. I'll link his video in the description below. So this gaffer tape that I was using didn't really work all that well, so I tried reinforcing it with a lot of tape. <laughs> to glue the edges of a shield together, I used Gorilla Glue which worked really well.
as you can see, the gaff tap really wasn't holding to the wood very well, so I decided to scrap the gaff tape, cut off the zip ties, cut the zip ties, um, yeah, so I cut the zip ties, removed the tape, restacked them, and put some Gorilla Tape on it, which works so much better. And yes, I reused the zip ties. Not that wasteful. Now that the glue is dry, I removed the zip ties. I took off the tape. And then I used a knife to take off the excess glue that had leaked out during the curing process. Then I marked out the middle of the top and the bottom and drew a line to work out where to place the template I'd drawn out on paper. And if you're wondering where I got paper so big, it's literally just four pieces of A4 paper that I sticky taped together. I understand this probably isn't the most practical tool for this job, but it's really the only tool I had, so it's what I used. And there's the basic outline of the shield done. And now I just used my belt sander to clean up all the edges and make it look nice. To sand the front and back faces of the shield, I just used a little mouse sander with a 80 grit sanding pad. So I wanted to add metal edge banding to this shield just for some added looks and some cool aesthetics. So what I did is I measured 
all three sides with this long curved ruler, which really helped. And I tried a couple of things. So first of all, I tried this piece of angle iron, which at the end of the day was just a bit beyond what I was willing to put into it. <coughs> I tried this metal strip, or metal strips I should say, to cover the top and front. So this one actually ended up all right. So what I did is I made the front and then I made the sides and welded them together, but they warped too much in the welding process. So what I did is I just ground off the welds and just put the front banding on. moving on to the rivets which I first of all um, oxidized to give them a aged look I then stuck them in a vise and hammered them with a ball peen hammer until they looked how I wanted them to I've got to say, this is probably the most sketchy part of this, because there was nothing really to hold on to. Well, there was a fair bit, but it's still nerve-wracking to put your fingers that close to a wire wheel. And here I am of cleaning up the outside of the shield to make it look nice for when I rivet it on. So what I'm doing here is just pushing the screws into a couple of holes I'd put in a cardboard box and I'm just clear coating the top to help them help them resist rust a bit better. And no, I was not super efficient on the paint. I just wanted to get them reasonably coated as much as I could. So because of the shape of these screws, I actually had to drill a wider hole at the top and then go all the way through with a smaller drill to get them to fit all the way through. These holes I'm drilling now are for arm and hand bends that I am putting on the inside of the shield to hang on to. These holes are not all the way through.
a little bit of a test fit here. Looks nice. But unfortunately, I couldn't use the drill press for these ones because the beam holding the drill press on is in the wrong spot. So I do the hand drill. Kind of risky. Here we go. And yeah, here we go. So I made these two bands out of one belt. Anyway, I'm just wiping all the uh, dust off and now I'm staining it before I seal it. After that had dried, I just turned it on its back and stained the back and the sides as well. And now I just use this clear coat varnish type stuff <laughs> to just, yeah, seal it up. Now I'm attaching the two bands permanently to the shield and I use Gorilla Glue and Super Glue to attach these. The Gorilla Glue for permanent and Super Glue, super glue for a quick setting stronghold. There's the hand bit, hand grip done, and here I am. So I had to use a drill bit just to drill out, drill out the bits of varnish and glue and stuff that he gotten in there. making sure it actually fit before letting it dry. And the next day after it was dry, I riveted on the steel banding around the edge. And this is the finished shield. I think it turned out great. 
happy with the finish, the color, the metal banding even. So, I didn't add any reinforcement on the back here. It's all just the glue and the metal trim. But as you can probably see, um, there you go. The boards are actually kind of coming apart, so it's a good thing I did add that metal trim because that's <laughs> it's essentially what's holding the shield together. But next time what I'll do is I'll add two little bands, one there, one about there, just to give it a bit of extra rigidity. Other than that, the arm bands turned out great. Hand band, hand band could be it could be a little looser, I'll be honest. But yeah. Other than that, um, this was a shield for my little brother. He and his friends like to have what they call a tournament, where they just have a bunch of friends over and smash each other with wooden swords. <laughs> it's kind of fun to watch, but yeah. So he's used this already, and yeah, he really liked it. So yeah, I've been Tim. This has been Making a Medieval Shield. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless.